Alright guys, so this is so messed up and I don't know why it's happening, but it's happening live right now. If you guys want to check it out, go on to Twitter and you'll hear all about it. But essentially what's going on is that Tesla is removing any indications of Tesla Vision, which was recently leaked by Green The Only. I don't think this was a mix up in any way. This is an ongoing thing now, so I think we're going to get to see the final results very soon. Now, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, it was all the excitement of what was going on with the non-ultrasonic sensor vehicles and Tesla Vision coming in. The visualization was beautiful. It gave us every indication that this was going to go onto our cars in this upcoming beta software push. However, it didn't seem that was the case because of the slow rollout of 11.3.2. It only went to a selected few group of people that were essentially OG testers. I talked about this so much in the last video, so you guys don't want to miss that out. Make sure you watch that one. I'll drop it in the description below and right up top there as well. So what went down really was that Green somehow got the global release note showing that the Tesla Vision parking system was going to be returning and he somehow even managed to get a piece of the screenshot. Now this wasn't some kind of blurry screenshot that you would get from a webcam or from your phone pointing up at the monitor, but you're going to get a really crystal clear vision of what the new software parking was like. Now this screenshot and this part of the release notes was nowhere to be found on the public build where the OG testers were seeing. It was just a typical release note showing what the single stack was all about and a couple other minor bug fixes and whatnot but somehow with green he managed to get this image and he said it was simply from a release notes now being the type of person green is tinkering around with all the software there was no doubt that he was eventually gonna find us out anyways but this time around something different happened so within the 24 hour period of green sharing this screenshot and all the information about it twitter decided to take down this post now we're not 100 sure that that was the case keep in mind that at this point Elon owns Twitter as well as Tesla and of course it's gonna be in their best interest to make sure that anything that is supposed to be kept hidden is going to be hidden. These are all just speculations right now and things are starting to unfold. We're getting a lot of people from the Tesla community chime in on this. As you guys can see here just scrolling endlessly people are voting whether it is active or is disabled. It seems like it's just 50-50 right now. Some people are able to view the page and others aren't but I think ultimately it comes down to the caching and the browser if they've seen this post before it's not going to require the internet connection it's not going to require a reload so if they do decide to clear their browsing history it might possibly show that the tweet has been deleted now originally it started off in parts of europe people weren't able to view green's tweet regarding tesla vision and then it slowly just spread across the globe and now there are people even in the u.s that aren't able to view this tweet now the interesting thing here is that even green himself the person who tweeted this out is unable to view his own tweet regarding this. He even took it a step further to confirm that nobody has access to his account and that he never ever deletes any of his tweets. And then on top of that, he went to Google, searched for this exact tweet, and it shows that it has been deleted and no longer available. So honestly, this is quite suspicious. I don't think this is a mix up in any way. I don't think he accidentally removed this. I think it's a piece of software that Tesla didn't intentionally want to get leaked. So what it comes down to really now is that those of you guys that are waiting for for Tesla Vision parking. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer because of this delay and there is going to be a chance that you might not get anything that comes on par with previous parking sensors. Now in my honest opinion, I don't think there is going to be any way that the Tesla Vision parking stack is going to be on par with what we're getting with the ultrasonic sensors and I think Tesla finally realizes this and they're taking a step back and waiting for the implementation of radar. Now on a quick different note here, there has been recent leaks of the Project Highland Model 3s. I originally intended to release this video to you guys earlier today, but I'll push it on a little bit further. Uh, I want to get most of the details ready first and confirmed, but it seems like there's been quite a lot of changes going on, and I know you guys are probably waiting out for that. There is real good evidence here that the updated Model 3 is going to get additional cameras in the front bumpers and other parts of the fenders and the body panels. So maybe this is why they're tying it to this pause right now in Tesla Vision, because is no longer capable of doing it what it's supposed to do. On top of all this, version 11.3.2, the FSD beta build that was supposedly going to go wide release, has been paused from what I can tell. I know you guys are probably thinking that Tesla scope doesn't account for the majority of people out there that are getting the build, but I think it's a pretty solid indicator that a bulk of people are not getting it, whereas Elon said that this was going to be a wide release. The batches coming out are not making any sense, and according to my previous video, there was only roughly about 500 people who have the beta build 
And then as the day went on, nobody got the software update at all. So to sum it up, there's definitely something going on with the build itself and now including the parking assist Tesla Vision. That's going to be a real big bummer. So anyways, this is all just breaking news right now and I'm currently following it. If you guys want to follow me, hit me up on Twitter at John E. So anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button at the notification bell. I will update you guys with everything that's going on as soon as I hear it. All right, so this wraps it up. This is John. Peace out.